XAI Labs have introduced Grok 1.5 Vision. So this is just a review. So this is their first multi model model. So previously they had Grok 1.5 large language model with text only capabilities. But this is their first generation multi model model. In addition to the strong text capabilities, this can now process a wide variety of visual information, including documents, diagrams, charts, screenshot and photographs. So this will be available soon to early testers and existing Grok users. So this model is Grok 1.5 V or Grok 1.5 Vision. So they have some nice examples over here, close to seven samples. The first one is a user, you know, a photograph of a flow chart, basically, and ask whether this can be translated into Python code. Okay. So this photograph of a flow chart can be converted to a Python code and the code is shown over here. So if you look at this flow, there is a function called random, uh, which, uh, you know, target is equal to random read guess. If target is equal to guess true print you on false print wrong guess try again. It is converted that into a code over here called guess number target is equal to random, right? Guess is equal to int and input number between this thing. If guess is equal to target print you on so it is converted this flow chart into code. Okay, now let us look at the next example. This is about calculating calories. So this is a photograph of a nutrition label of a product. And then uh, the question is how many calories are there in five slices of this for three slices, it is 18 grams, right? Uh, for 18 uh, for three slices, it is 60 calories, which is 18 grams. So it is actually able to compute it. And then it says for five slices, it is, you know, 20 calories for each slice. So it will be 100 calories. So this shows its ability to understand the uh, photograph over here and then understand the context and then extract data from it and then do the computation and then present the results. Interesting. Uh, this is about uh, from a drawing to a bedtime story. This is something about more creative, right? Uh, a creative uh, aspect of this particular model. Um, so th there is a boat over here. There is a person over here. So, you know, my son drew this. Can you tell a short bedtime story based on this drawing? It creates a drawing over here an adventure. Okay. Magical river and so on. Right. So, so this is the creative aspect. Then there is another explaining a meme. Okay. Given a photograph, it's about explaining the meme. Uh, so it is able to do that. Okay. Converting a table to CSV. So here you have a photograph of a table and um, you're asking it to be converted to CSV. This is another use case over here. Uh, then this is about, uh, you know, having a photograph and then asking for help, right? Some kind of instructions for repair and things like that. So help with the rotten wood on a deck. Okay. Uh, solving a coding problem, right? So these are some of the use cases they have shown over here and the outputs they are shown over here. Uh, only when we get to test this model, we can verify some of these things. Okay. Uh, so they are also uh, releasing a real world understanding benchmark okay uh, to advance uh, models understanding of the physical world uh, you need a new benchmark that is real world question answer benchmark this benchmark is designed to evaluate basic real world spatial understanding capabilities of multi model models okay uh, some examples are shown over here for example with this image uh, which object is the larger uh, uh, which object is larger, the pizza cutter or the scissors. Okay. Things like that. Right. So they have created a real world QA has more than 700 images with a question and easily variable verifiable answer for each image. This is already available for download under this license. Okay. Uh, now if you look at the benchmarks, finally, uh, this model is comparable over here to GPT 4 V on certain benchmarks and better than GPT 4 V, uh, vision. That is a claim over here, right? On certain benchmarks, for example, on math Vista, this is Grok 1.5 V is better than GPT 4 V all, all the other models. Okay. In some benchmarks like MMMU, it is comparable to other models. Okay. 
Um, so this is their, um, you know, performance on various benchmarks. That's what they're showing over here. Now, all these things don't matter till we get access to the model and we can test it out. If you go by history, they uh, released Grok, uh, you know, they, uh, they released the LLM, uh, they released open and they made it open source. Not sure whether this model will be open source in the future. If it is open source in the future, um, that is a very interesting um, thing to have. So more and more competition is good. Uh, not just GPT-4V or Claude 3 Opus, more and more multi-model models. Uh, competition is always better for the end customer. So we'll be able to see newer models come out. So this is an interesting preview and I'm waiting for, uh, you know, for the, it to be released for me to test it and then come out with uh, more videos on Croc 1.5 vision. Hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.